Galaxy 500 are one of the most critically acclaimed bands of recent years. And the Boston-based trio have just released their second album, On Fire, on Rep Trade Records, and are currently on tour in Europe to promote it. We're amazed by the press attention that we're getting at the moment, I would say. I feel kind of amazed by it. There's a lot of it, yes. We're coming from uh, Boston in the USA, we don't get uh, a tremendous amount of press. There is no press in the United States like there is over here. It's a kind of weekly hype machine. We like it. It's been good to us. Yeah. We were unfamiliar with youth culture, but now we're enjoying being its, its current heroes. <laughs> well, aren't you a bit cynical about all the press attention then? Sorry? Aren't you a bit cynical about all the press attention that you might get? You know, you sort of like we, we know what might happen uh, six months from now. It seems like it could be very transient, so it's best to like take it with as much of a sense of humor as you can, I suppose. Seize the day, try and just sell a lot of t-shirts. Carpe diem. Uh, I don't know how to sell t-shirts in Latin. Sell t-shirts. They don't have t-shirts in Latin. That's true. We do well in New York, but basically the rest of the country, you're either, you know, you have to be in like Rolling Stone magazine, or, you know, people have to be reading fanzines, which basically very, very small. And so, Our first record had a lot of critical success. But no distribution, but, so, so yeah. we have no idea. Our new record just came out at home and we left the country, so we don't know how it's doing yet. I don't know what's going on. We anticipate returning to Boston and playing to about 23 people. Right, maybe they'll all come to the airport, all 23 people. <laughs> you know, uh, Which would be more than we had before when we left, so we'll see. First gig is Galaxy 500. Was it? Uh, was that a party? Yeah, that was that was frightening. I think at this point it it, it sort of, it tends to depend on the size of the club. I mean, I know I feel much more comfortable playing music in smaller places um, rather than you know, huge rooms. We, we like the little sweat boxes yeah. with no light. It's easier when we have a sense of what the sound is out front. We're not, we're not like behind a giant sound system, triggering things off. It's nice when you can feel what people are hearing in the room. It's a lot easier. Never was this Friends like desperate thing for us. We were never like going home and saying, "God, you know, if we don't make it, we're going to kill ourselves." I mean, then maybe someone would discourage us. But I mean, it was always just for fun and because we enjoyed it. And I think our friends and family are surprised. They're all pretty amused. That, that there's any any measure of success in this. It was never a joke. I mean, it was just something. I mean, we we always loved music, and um, Damon and Dean had played in a band together before we started this band two years ago. Um, but I mean, the ambition was never, you know, to be on TV or, <laughs> you know, we didn't even dream that we could even make a a record. Um, but um, it, you know, we take the music very seriously and we work very hard on it. And uh, but it's just it's something we enjoy doing. I mean, it's very satisfying to to make a record that you would really want to be listening to. better bands uh, coming from America. That's my own opinion than there are here. Not that we know a lot about this here. Yeah. The risk of sounding opinionated. It seems like it's a different thing here. It seems like people are much more deliberate about the music business and their careers in it and, and set out in it as a career. And actually most of the bands we know at home and for us it, it was never like that. And um, so maybe it would be a diff very different experience. well-known Kramer is over here yet, but he should be much more so. Um, 
I mean, aside from like his talent and his his fantastic work on our on our records, it's like I think it's like a really fascinating mix of of uh, sensibilities, our music and his his ear, because they're very different. Uh, We're just sort of puttering along. Yeah, that is the truth of the matter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're not, look, we haven't like thought really, we haven't really thought much about the next, rec next record and we certainly haven't thought beyond uh, the next record. But then, you know, two years ago we didn't think we would have made two records, I'm sure. When we get home, the immediate problem will be trying to make another good record, even better. <laughs>